All right, today's video, we're gonna go over these uh, rear window defroster guards. These are actually made for the factory mixed soft tops, but I don't see why they can't work on the Anderson Composites one since they're basically almost identical. So anyway, these come from uh, Sticker Fab, our good friends at Sticker Fab. I think they're actually made by 21 Off-Road. Uh, but they basically just found they have a video themselves. I'll link their video too so you can sell them. We do have a Sticker Fab affiliate code and discount code. If it's not already on sale, the discount code will save you a little bit of money. So I highly encourage you guys to try to use it if possible. If you use a, our link code to Sticker Fab, it will give us a teeny tiny bit of commission on it. And every little bit helps, and we'd help uh, greatly support any, uh, sorry, appreciate any support that you could uh, offer us by using that code. But anyway, it's pretty simple and easy install. It looks like you just take these things off and stick them on after you clean everything off. But you'll want to get some paper towels and some isopropyl uh, alcohol to clean the surface area off so you can put these on. So just hit, sit back and relax and we're going to show you how going to clean up some of our surface that we're going to put these at. We'll do this with some rubbing alcohol here. So if you can see that, we'll go up here. We know this is going to go on either side of this thing. So be very careful not to, obviously you don't want to get that off of there, but you also want to be able to clean this window up. Now I'll tell you right now, it looks like it's getting, it looks pretty nasty. Uh, so definitely this thing was overdue. You don't want to yank on this too much. That's the whole purpose of having this up here is to help protect that. So be careful cleaning this off as well. So, so we got plenty of rubbing alcohol here. We're gonna hold this, brace it while we wipe. We don't want to have anything knock that off. Uh, definitely want to make sure we get this good and clean so that stuff adheres to it. Yeah, you know, testament to how dark this tin is. It's keeping that sunlight from being too hard. But anyway, so rubbing alcohol got cleaned off, and then we're gonna put these on here. So. Just going to kind of wipe this down a little bit here. Make sure that uh, that alcohol has had a chance to dry before we go throw one of these bad boys on. So yeah, you know, just dry it a little bit. These are non-soaked to help dry some of that alcohol up before we go start throwing these things on here. So we just watched their video and their install. So the problem here is that this piece right in here is a lot longer. This box piece is closer up here on the factory one that they did on their Braptor. Uh, so the really only option I have without going back and modifying this end piece is to just kind of slip it right here. I mean, I guess it protects it some, but it's definitely not ideal. I mean, I guess you got that snug up there, but you know, what else can you do? So. Looks like that's what we're going to do for now. So we're going to go in here and take this red adhesive off and hope like hell it sticks. All right, so I don't know if you'll be able to see this on the camera, but I'm just going to pull these off. These are a pair of tweezers I also got from Sticker Fab from an earlier purchase. These things come in handy when you're dealing with uh, stickers and decals, especially when you don't have nails like I don't. I kept my nails too short, so these are very helpful in that regard. So we're just going to take these off, stick them on, and then we should be good to go. There we go. All right. I don't know if this is all the Anderson Composites ones are like this, or maybe because, you know, it's one thing about Anderson Composites, they look just like it, the factory. And for all practical purposes, they function like a factory hard top, but there may be little minor differences like this that you might run into when you're modifying it. So, do any modifications. So, all right, we got all the stickers off. Should be ready to go. Let's see, I'm gonna slide it right there where it's right there on the lip. Yeah, shit. There we go. Just kind of hold it up there for a couple seconds. Let that sink on. Like I said, it doesn't cover this piece, but it, it kind of holds it up. So, sorry about the airplane noise. We're near somewhat close to O'Hare. So, it's, I think it's going to stick up there. But anyway, it gives it some protection. It's not as much as I was hoping for, but it gives it some. So, it, some's better than nothing. So, 
Let me see if we can do something beat it away. Anyway, like I said, you're going to take this open end. I'm going to tuck it in there. Now, once you place this, it's stuck. So, you got to make sure you got it in the right spot. There we go. All right. So, like I said, it doesn't cover this part right here. But, you know, it doesn't cover this part. But it kind of snugs it up against there. So, it does help some. It's not a total bad thing. I mean, I think with the factory ones, that one little piece in there is kind of shorter. But this does kind of help snug it up against the window. So that will help protect it. You know, especially with Witten back here moving around. That's the main thing I was worried about is him possibly bumping that and knocking it loose. But I think it should be good. So, plus if somebody ever does 10 on here, it might keep them from knocking it out inadvertently. Oh, look, there's the washer flow. All right. So